Hi Virgo, welcome to your May bonus reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So this bonus reading is intended to give you some maybe bonus messages. If something in your monthly readings didn't resonate for you, maybe something here will. That's my intention with this reading. So please only take the messages that resonate for you. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't make it sense. The message is not for you. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Male or female, it's a general collective reading, not a private reading. So if you like a private reading, info below in the description box, as long as a ton of other information. So please go uh, check that out if you like to. So in this reading, we'll be taking a little look into love, what's going on in your life, and then some advice, guidance here from the angels for you. And then we'll clarify the energy with tarot. So welcome everyone. Hope everybody's doing well, staying he healthy and safe during this time. So let's see what we have for Virgo. And this bonus reading for the general collective, male or female, sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, for Virgo. Let's see what's going on in love. And if you're new and you like my style, how I read, my energy, check out my channel, like what you see. Feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. And uh, you get about four or five readings a month. So I may be changing up the bonus readings, not sure yet. But you get at least four readings a month. And if you do, thank you so much and welcome. All right, so let's see what's going on for Virgo. Virgo, all right, we'll take this one and we'll take one from the bottom. I'm gonna pull from each oracle and then we'll go over the energy and then we'll clarify your energy for this bonus reading for Virgo, Southern Rising Venus, Jupiter, male or female, general collective reading, what's going on in the life of Virgo this at this time, Spirit, please thank you so much. Show me what I need to see. Thank you so much for Virgo. Thank you, thank you. What is going on in the life of Virgo at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much for this general collective reading. Feeling that one and one from the bottom. And let's get your angel messages. This is the Guardian Angel Oracle. Not too many people use it, but that's what it looks like. Decks are listed below if you're interested in what decks I'm using. Lots of stuff down there. All right, Virgo, what is your advice guidance for this May bonus from the Guardian Angels for the General Collective of Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, male or female? What is the advice guidance for Virgo? This General Collective reading spirit, please. Thank you so much for Virgo, please. Virgo, all right, that one and one from the bottom. All right, let's see what we have. Love. What's going on in love? We have cause and effect. You are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent of change in the foundation of your results. So there may be something here that happened that caused some sort of effect in your relationship. So a situation maybe. Somebody's actions or a situation could be anything. So there was a cause effect of something here. And then we have satisfaction. You let the energy of love guide you to self approval so that others no longer define who you are. So let's see here. So we have cause and effect and somebody may have been doing something for their own benefit, their own satisfaction um, that caused some sort of a ripple or something of cause and effect in a relationship here. So somebody's actions caused something here to happen. So we'll see when we get into the tarot, what that's all about. So let's see what's going on in life for you. We have unity, five, do the right thing for the right reason. Compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you, a spiritually minded community. This is sort of like the Hierophant energy. This can be about commitments, it can be about marriage, um, it can be about faith, spirituality, religion, um, higher levels of learning. It can be about um, institutional energy, such as the government law, education, and that sort of energy also, doing what's moral, just, and right, um, integrity. All right, so let's see. A five is about change, a challenge, but let's see here. We have Prince of Autumn. Dependable, protective, chivalrous, humorous, 
cautious but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, kindness to others. So this is the uh, Knight of Pentacles, a very slow moving energy, but it's secure, it's stable, it's grounded. They're smart, wise, practical, um, cautious. So some sort of, this could, you know, this could be about love too, where uh, something's coming into union, but it's taking an awful long time. The other person could be taking a very long time. Or this is um, moving steadily towards something here, very slow, cautious, uh, being very wise, moving forward. But it's divinely guided energy with the Hierophant energy here. So whatever we're moving towards, it's divinely guided from a higher level. Coming into unity with that energy, whatever it may be, whether it's a love, whether it's a new job, um, you know, pentacles can be about work, career, finance. Whatever's coming to you is meant to be. It's spiritually, divinely guided. It may be slow moving, slow coming, but it's coming. It's something that uh, you're depending on, but it is coming to you. All right, so let's see what your advice guidance is from the angels. We have knowledge. So gaining knowledge, giving knowledge, learning something new, higher levels of learning. And I had said that. And we have support. So you may be getting support. Maybe you're waiting on, um, like for some that may be going back to school or they're waiting, you know, it could be online learning also where you're waiting for a scholarship or you're waiting for you know, some sort of financial aid or something like that. So you can gain this knowledge that you need to come into unity to whatever your destiny is. You know, it's taken a long time. And the Prince of Autumn, too, is, you know, can be moving forward in education, work, career, finance. It's very slow moving, though. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So the uh, angels here have different color borders. So I'll tell you which angels are associated to um, the blue here. Support is Archangel Michael, which is about uh, protection, truth, justice, and power. And the green there is Archangel Raphael, which is about healing, discovery, and intellectual capabilities. So that, you know, can be broadening your mind, education in some way. So some of you may definitely be waiting on some sort of uh, aid, support to further your education or your career in some way. I feel like it's coming. It's just going to take a while. All right, so but let's see what's going on in your love life for some of you. Again, this may not resonate for everybody. Please only take the messages how they resonate for you. All right, so I feel like these are interconnected in some way. Sometimes that happens where we have three total, uh, total separate messages. And sometimes some of them intertwine into one another. So that could be a very important message for some. All right, so let's see about love here. Eight of Cups. So somebody could have definitely walked away here to go get some satisfaction somewhere else, <laughs> which I don't know here. Two of Wands put somebody at a crossroads about this um, relationship or connection or whatever it is here. All right, what else is going on here for Virgo? Sun. Someone tried to find happiness, joy somewhere else. Somebody could have got somebody else pregnant, which would have been that cause and effect. Somebody, <laughs> somebody could have went to get gratification somewhere else for their own satisfaction. Now expecting with somebody else, which now puts everything at a crossroads. Somebody here definitely could have walked away. That would be that cause and effect. You know, getting some satisfaction somewhere else. And what happened? There'd be a child involved now. Now there's a crossroads. All right, so what else here for Virgo? Magician. So this is manifesting a new beginning. Yeah, tower here. So, wow. I feel like somebody went, could have been a third. I don't have any threes here for third party, but, uh, you know, if we add this eight and two, we have 10, which is an ending. And the tower here is a surprise, epiphany, breakdown, breakup, shakeup, argument, fight, something here. It could be anything. So somebody, I think, maybe went to try to go off and manifest. Because we do have two, and then the one here would be three. 
So somebody maybe tried to run off to manifest something new with somebody else. Walked away here for a time. Children could have got involved or a child is now involved. So that's a big shake up, break up here. Surprise, shock. Because a magician sometimes can be a manipulator too, especially if it's in reverse. So what else here? Yeah. Somebody now withdrawing their energy. So if this is your person that went off and now they got somebody else with child and you found out and you're like, what? Now you could be withdrawing your energy from this person, you know, really. And this is your energy, Virgo. I feel like you withdrew your energy from this person. Now, you know, you could have walked away from them and said, you know, put them at a crossroads. Like, well, okay, cause and effect of this situation is, you know, if you went to get satisfaction somewhere else and now you have somebody else with child, then I guess that's where your happiness is. So you can go there. <laughs> I'm turning my back. I'm leaving, walking away. And I'm going to go manifest a whole new beginning for myself. Um, spending some time alone. Hermit mode. Wow. So somebody's... Somebody here who, you know, went to get their satisfaction somewhere else. Definitely caused a big cause and effect here. Wow. Okay, so that may or may not resonate for everybody. That's the message I got. So... All right, so let's see here. Unity in the Prince of Autumn. What is that about for Virgo? Strength, so being strong, courageous, and brave. Taming the beast from within, willpower, determination. And yeah, there's a brand new beginning. So you're waiting on some sort of brand new beginning. This could be a new project, endeavor, spark of a new idea, uh, entrepreneurship kind of energy. But I feel like, you know, it's exciting. It's, you know, it ignites the fire in your belly. But needing to be strong, it could, I feel like it's taking a long time to get off the ground. And you're waiting, you know, you're holding faith, hope, and optimism in this situation. Being committed to the journey. Because uh, the Hierophant can be about commitment. Just committed, committed to a journey. You know, not necessarily just in marriage. But committed, staying vigilant and committed to your journey. But it's taking all your strength, I feel, because it could be taking so long. Queen of Wands. But you are, I said that, feeling fiery and passionate about this. King or Queen doesn't matter. That's the entrepreneurship. There's the wand in your hand. Here's the wand here. You have that creative spark idea, whatever it is for you in your hand. But it's not totally in fruition yet. All right. So, because, wow, we have a lot of lines here here all right what else here for virgo someone could have heavy leo in their chart a fire so yeah here's again commit commitment staying committed to the journey will lead to stability four of wands is stability in the home life you know celebrating rejoicing ceremonies maybe some of you you know went to higher levels of education and now you're just waiting for the ceremony. You know, everything's on hold now because of quarantine. Yeah, working, working on something new, learning something new, working on something new, mastering your craft, working together, teamwork, collaboration, learning. You see these, these two are learning from this person here. So, you know, learning something new. But positive movement forward to success, victory, achievement, balance. So keep moving forward. Even though, you know, you may want this to go a lot quicker than it is, but it's coming. It's here. Your victory is here. Your balance, your positive movement forward to keep moving forward. Mastering your craft, learning, working, things getting more stable. They'll be rejoicing, celebrating. Stay vigilant. Stay passionate. The new beginning is coming. Stay strong. Maybe taking a while. Slow and steady wins the rice. But you'll be coming... Uh, in union with your destiny here all right so let's see what this knowledge and support is oh the devil oh okay let's see where that's going let's see where that's going the five of swords five of wands yikes so this could be a lot of negative energy between other people or uh, somebody in your life 
whether it's a lot of toxic energy, it could be lies, deceit, it could be fear, it could be addictions, obsessions, just, you know, not a good energy between you and another. A lot of fighting, bickering, arguing, not seeing eye to eye, one-upping one another, backstabbing. So somebody may be with knowledge there uh, enlightening you about somebody else's actions. And yet they're lending their support to you also. Helping you, guiding you through this. It's not the first message I got. Yeah, so you may be ending ending uh, relationships here that are no longer serving you. This is about death, letting things go to the wayside, no longer serving you. Uh, transformation, transcendence, new beginnings, starting over, starting fresh. Ten of Pentacles here. So could it be with, um, could be the situation over here, you know, this person, you know, if this is what they did. Now, you know, there could have been a lot of fighting, arguing, bickering, went very toxic. Could have been a marriage or a long-term commitment and now it's just ending. Or if there's somebody else, you know, around you, a, a person a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or something like that. Because the pen Ten of Pentacles can be about career, work, finance. So, let's see. Let's get one more. King of Wands. So, very fiery, passionate. we got a match here with the King, Queen of Wands. So, you know, this could have been a soulmate energy at one time. Yeah, soulmate energy at one time. But, uh, I think that's quickly coming to an end with the Knight of Swords. So, you know, there might have been a lot of love at one time, but somebody now knowing their love, you know, their value, their worth. So I feel like here, yeah, it's an ending to toxic relationships, whether it was a lover or friends or co-workers or family. You know, there could have been a very loving connections at one time, you know, nurturing, caring energy, but now Things are ending quickly, you know, rushing in with truths and clarities and taking swift action, cutting energy is no longer serving, knowing value and worth now and not putting up with this energy anymore. And you could have somebody like a mother or father figure or um, wise elder or something like that around you, helping you, guiding you through this. Maybe someone shedding light on a situation for you, you know, revealing someone else's actions to you and uh, supporting you through endings and change and transformation. Wow. Okay, Virgo, <laughs> that's the energy I see. So best of luck to you, sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say with my channels to always, always shine your light.